Okay, in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can easily make a ringtone for your iPhone using GarageBand. So, let's get started with that. I want to come over here and type in GarageBand in Spotlight, or I can do that within the Finder. I've already made a file. Um, a, a new music project is the one that I selected earlier, and I just called it Ringtones. And once it's created, you will see this right here. I want to add a new track click here and it's a real instrument um, and you can actually use uh, your voice or however you want to do it or existing media that you already have so I want to come down here and click on the little media tab and I want to select things that I already have in uh, iTunes um, so I can go through here and this is my iTunes library I don't even need to add, open up the application There we go. I picked the, an AC and DC song instead. So if I played here, fun little tune, and I can uh, easily make this into however many seconds that I want. Right now it's set on beat. What I'd rather have is time. Uh, right now it's 30 seconds long. I can click this. This is the little repeat thing. So if I played that section right there, it only play that right there with it's in yellow. So if I want my ringtone to be, oops, I can drag and drop, uh, drag and drop. I can extend that out to say 30 seconds if that's how long my ringtone is going to be. Once I have the song in there, um, I can move this around uh, however I want, uh, however many seconds that you want. I think 30 seconds is the most that an iPhone will take as a ringtone. So when you can even play this and listen to it over to make sure this is the, the selection of audio that you want. And as you can see here, the audio levels are a little bit loud, so I'm going to drag this down, because that's peaky. There we go. Okay, once I'm satisfied, I'll just come up here and say share, and say send ringtones to iTunes. I'll click that. It's going to open up iTunes. You'll see there, ringtones. 30 seconds long. And if you have your iPhone plugged in, uh, all you have to do is sync it um, in the ringtones tab, and then it will appear on your iPhone. And that's how you do that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email me at brent underscore Cameron at mac.com. Or you can reach me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trucklover. Thank you. Have a good week.